Hello and welcome to another Modern Toy Fair review. Today I'm taking a look at the Valiverse Weapons Pack Charlie. This is once again coming from Valiverse themselves from the box of goodies they sent me a little over a month or so ago. I'm still finishing up that series of six reviews with this one here. We've got one more after this uh, for I believe it's probably next week, so stay tuned for that. Also, please make sure to stick around to the end of the video to see all the photos I took. And of course, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and feelings are. Are you a big fan of accessories like me? Because, oh buddy, if you're a fan of the channel, you know I'm an accessory whore. So this is right up my alley. But that's enough chitter chatter, let's go ahead and get at her. Alright, let's see what comes in here. So we have our first assault rifle here. This one's got some really great detail there in the black. You can kind of see when I get the light on it. And you have the green going down the barrel. Got some of that green on the back for the stock and also on the mag. Some really great sculpt work. No hole in the front. Also, I wish the lens on the scope was painted. That would have been cool. Also a little bit silver here on the other side where I believe that's the chamber. Uh, after that, you do have this tan assault rifle. This one's a little more modern looking, in my opinion. I don't know anything about guns, so who knows. Uh, but yeah, t again, some great sculpting work. You've got some black down at the end of the barrel. You've got the holes in the back here. You've got the mag. You also have black at what, again, what I think is the chamber. And this one actually kind of looks, well, at least in the video games, like the G36E. But also the mags do come out, and you can swap them out, which is really cool. This one is very similar to that one. It's in green. Some slight changes, a little more detail in the sculpt. Definitely some changes in the uh, barrel and the stock. And also the mag does not come out of that one. After that, we have this little SMG. It's got a little bit of sculpting here and there. Got these like little holes at the air of the barrel. And then we have my favorite, which is this pistol with this really great silver on the top half of it. Really makes everything pop. You've got the black sight attached to the top as well and then some great sculpt on the handle and after that we do have another all black smg this one's a little more like maybe like an uzi i don't know i'm just pulling this out of my ass but it looks really cool i like the grip on the front then this one this one i love the fact that they went back to the green this is the last one out of the guns because the green makes those details pop so much better than all the black but i also like the black highlights it kind of Brings it all around. Oh, it's got some uh, black there on the chamber, too. You do get several magazines with these. So this, you have a few of the green ones here, which have just the lines going straight up and down. Where I guess it's kind of curved. Um, and then you do have the tan ones, which have more of like a hex pattern with some lines there on them. A little hard to see, but that's okay because we have black ones that are identical. And these ones, if I get them in the light, you can see a little bit better there that they are... Uh, okay, yeah, it is like a hex pattern. Now for my favorite part, and that is the muzzle flash effects. So these look so good with the orange going to the red to the white. Got the peg on the back, so that way you can take this guy off here, slide that into the end of the barrel on some of the guns that have the hole at the end, and boom. Looks fantastic. You also have one that is an Innie instead of an Audi. And it's kind of exciting because... They have some where the barrel's a little too tiny, so you can't put a hole in it. So they made it so you can just pop this on the front, which is super innovative and makes it so they can focus more on accuracy instead of worrying about being able to fit the uh, flash effects in there. But yeah, it looks great. I really love the sculpt on them. And again, the colors and the translucent. And of course, you have a really tiny one, which is the last one in the group and our last actual accessory. This one's great for pistols, SMGs, I would assume even like silenced weapons, because in theory, that flash should be smaller, I would assume. Uh, but yeah, we're going to grab the pistol here, pop that bad boy in, and it looks so good. Again, that translucent plastic just looks so fantastic. Oddly enough, onto the box art. So we have this like case with, you know, the weapons pack Charlie, 14 plus, Valiverse, all the logos. Top has the latches and the handle and the little key holder thing. Bomb barcode, no kids allowed, all that fun stuff. Logo on the side, logo on the side. And then on the back, it shows everything that comes in it. All the guns, everything except for the mags. 
and then you have all the socials and the website. So really cool presentation for something that's just an accessory pack. Okay, so overall, I'm pretty happy. I mean, at a $14.99 for the amount of stuff you get, this is pretty damn good, especially with stuff like the muscle flashes and the fact that all of the guns come with removable mags and you get extra ones on top of that, so that way you can put them with the vests and stuff like that for the actual figures, since they have all those lovely little holsters on them. I will say it does make me interested in looking into some of the gear packs, because they have the ones that come with like the vests and the different colored holsters and straps and all that fun stuff and helmets and such so i'll probably be looking into those at some point but yeah i i dig it i i love when companies do this they give you more options for displayability posability photos what have you by releasing just packs of weapons or accessories or anything else that you could imagine so that way you can choose how you want to play with your figures you're not stuck with what just comes in the box it, it's it's pretty awesome and i i really like it and i wish more companies do it i mean mcfarland does it uh he just recently started because of the whole dc weapons band so good on him uh mezco does it and theirs are usually pretty solid when they actually come out i'd love to see more legends do some with like some of the effect pieces that would be really cool so there, there's so many possibilities i i really hell i'd love to see gi joe do it like could you imagine classified having just packs of weapons and accessories that you can use and swap out that'd be so cool but that's enough for me let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and feelings are were you on the fence with these accessory packs if you just swayed you one way or another or you know if you have already gotten them and you really enjoy them if, if so if you're taking photos tag me in them i'd love to see and of course if you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe it helps us out a ton lets us know that we're doing a good job and people want to see more and also gets you some toy related content in your feed with reviews let's poses live streams and the weekly podcast plus make sure to stick around to the end of the video like i mentioned before so you can see all the photos i took but real quick i do want to take a second to let everyone know we did recently announce we have a patreon now it's patreon.com forward slash modern toy fair the link will be in the description below it also should be on your screen at the moment as well right now it is got several Several tiers on it. They all vary from anything from just being able to get shout outs on the podcast, access to get uh, physical prints of some of the photos I take, and even being a guest on our live stream. So please, if you could check that out, we greatly appreciate that as well. And of course, if you can't support us in that way monetarily, there's nothing wrong with that. We appreciate anyone who watches our videos, comments, likes, subscribes, all of that stuff. It, all of it means the world to us already. This is just the kind of next step in the evolution of the channel to try to make this bigger and grow it further and see how far we can take it and of course don't forget we have all the socials of twitter tiktok and instagram at modern toy fair but that's gonna be it for this video hopefully see you next week same toy time same toy fair channel thank you for watching